Well, greetings, YouTubers, on this uh, warm, humid June uh, morning. And we had a lot of sunshine over the last couple of days, but now it's uh, kind of cloudy and damp out here. But at least it's kind of cool. And like I said, with all that sunshine, hey, I'm getting my farmer's tan on. <laughs> that's what's important. But anyway, I uh, wanted to talk about something here that's driving people nuts today. This is my expedition. And I got that code. It finally came up. The PO420, the one that just drives everybody nuts, and they end up spending all this money for nothing when it turns out it's usually a simple fix. So let me show you right now. The code did come back on. I got my code reader hooked up. It's all hooked up here. And, and there it is, 420. I think you can see that there. And it finally came on yesterday. Now, I did some work to the vehicle not long ago, cleared all the codes, and I had to drive this about 150 miles. And it finally came back on, and you can see it's a PO420, a uh, catalytic um, efficiency below threshold, bank number one. So you have two, uh, on this vehicle, I have four O2 sensors. So one of them is telling me that uh, there's something going on in the engine. I either have uh, some moisture getting into the system in the intake, or I have unmetered air, meaning that there's probably a vacuum line off somewhere. Now, two ways you can attack this. First of all, when you see this code, the PO420, don't freak out. Don't take it to the shop and have them replace your catalytic converters, replace the O2 sensors, putting special adapters and extensions on the O2 sensors to make it uh, trick the uh, computer because your code is going to come back and I know in some states if you have a check engine light your vehicle will not pass inspection especially through the emissions test so hopefully this video is going to save you hundreds and hundreds of dollars and lots of times now what you have to start looking for is basically a leak somewhere up here in the engine now like I said if your engine is running a little rough start by looking for vacuum leaks and sometimes you can actually hear vacuum leaks you can get your little can of spray kind of spray around and if you hear the engine kind of changing idle, or maybe it's picking up or slowing down, then you found your vacuum leak. And like I said, a lot of times you can actually just uh, kind of let it run and you can hear it hissing and you can take care of that. Now, if your engine is running okay and you still get the code, then more than likely if you have a plastic intake somewhere uh, or any of these gaskets like this, these are my intake gaskets. Now I know exactly what's wrong with this vehicle because I've had this problem in the past with other SUVs. These gaskets get bad and they leak air over time and they get sucked in past the uh, sensors, especially up here on the, uh, the uh, IAC and all these other sensors. The computer senses that there's more air coming into the system than it should have. And what happens, it throws that check engine light that PO420 is just a generic code telling you, uh-oh, you need to start doing your work and fix me. So uh, what I have found over the years is this. Uh, basically, what I have found is you have two things going on. You have a vacuum issue somewhere, or you have a gasket, perhaps a intake gasket, a uh, throttle body gasket, something somewhere that's sucking in a little more air over time. It doesn't have to be a lot of air. And let me show you right here. Here are two of my old plastic intakes, and I see this a lot on vehicles nowadays. These gaskets, uh, they don't last from the factory, and sometimes you will get cracks that will develop in these uh, intakes, especially along the edge here, and it can suck in just enough air to throw a check engine light, especially the PO420. I've seen this over the last uh, 20 years since we have got uh, computers and um, OBD2 code readers. This happens quite a, a lot. So this is nothing that's really that unusual. So if you have this code, just make sure, first thing you do is go ahead and check gaskets. If you have an intake that is plastic, or if you have a throttle body that's plastic, I will guarantee you 99% of the time, it is a gasket issue. You have unmetered air going into the system. And I know there's a lot of good mechanics out there that sometimes don't quite understand this, but this is the new way of thinking, especially with computers nowadays. And I know a lot of people are ripping out the O2 sensors and putting in long extensions on the end of the, uh, the O2 sensors, pieces of uh, p threaded pipe so the O2 sensors can't really sense the exhaust coming out of the engine and it tricks the uh, computer and it keeps the check engine light off but 
Me, I don't roll that way. I like to fix things the way they were uh, meant to be, especially from the factory, because that's how it's designed, and that's the way it usually runs. So uh, it looks like over the next few days, I am going to go ahead and replace these gaskets on this and hopefully take care of the PO420. And that's really the only code I've had. Now, I've had three other vehicles. I've had two Mountaineers, and I've had an Explorer, and they all do the same thing. Now, for me, I'm pretty lucky. This 2000 Expedition has aluminum intake. Yay! So I'm only going to have to replace the uh, gaskets, which I have here. Now, they make three sets of gaskets. You have to figure out what, what VIN you have. You have to look at your VIN on your... Um, windshield here and for me my eighth digit is a six I believe so you have to match that up with the gaskets and this is a 4.6 and also they have a 5.4 and depending on what year uh, the four sixes they kind of make these difference uh, difference in gaskets after 2000 so definitely check that out and uh, make sure you get the right gasket so I am going to go ahead and start working on this uh, probably in the next day or so when the rain stops and hopefully i'll have this po 420 fixed so i hope this helped you guys out now if you have this code i don't care what vehicle you have what truck don't go ripping out your exhaust don't go ripping out your catalytic converters and some of these vehicles have four and can you imagine if you had to replace four catalytic converters just to test this to see if this code will go away trust me you're going to be crying for a while because that's going to be very expensive so do this do some checking check for leaks check your gaskets and if you have a plastic intake anywhere or anything that's plastic on that engine that requires a gasket check it because it could be your problem so having said that uh it's still raining out here a little bit and it looks like i'll just kind of wait probably till tomorrow to get this fixed and i think i left my key on we'll go inside and, and i think that's the only code i had yeah one of one Get the key out. It's not driving you guys crazy, but um, that's the only code I have, and it looks like um, after I fix that, I should be in pretty good shape. So, yeah, one of one. So, there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up. And uh, this uh, video is mainly directed to people who do not have access to real fancy code readers, uh, those code readers that read everything where you could do a, uh, a live test and, and watch the uh, flow through the engine through live numbers and stuff and metered numbers through uh, oxygen and fuel and all that. This is a pretty generic way to actually get this code fixed and save you hundreds and hundreds and if not days, weeks of time and hopefully get your vehicle back on the road. So, and when I do replace this uh, intake gasket on this, I will put a link at the end of this video uh, how I did it and what it took and we'll check it out and see if that code stays off. But I'm pretty sure it will stay off because this is not no big issue for me. I've done a lot of these in the past and it's usually a gasket issue for that PO420. So until then guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you later, and I'll enjoy this little spring rain shower.